are guilty. The law is going to deal with them. Let me go to Saruni, uh, Papili. Um, you, you said about uh, the 1.5. It is true. There was a proposal of 3%. The public told us that we do not want a levy. If you want, collect a tax. Reduce it to 1.5. So both reduction to 1.5 and changing to a tax going forward, we will respect what the public uh, will have said going into uh, the future. Am I still uh, audible? Are you, are you there? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. yes, 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 let me, yes, yes. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me say this. Um, I agree with you, uh, my friend, that um, uh, I, I said that I would have an advisor in my office for young people. But maybe uh, I did something different. I gave many young people. If you go to parliament, if you look at the leader of Senate, if you look at the leader of many committees in parliament, I made young, young people. If you look at my deputy controller of, of, of state house, these are young people. I decided to have more cabinet, sec more principal secretaries. If you look at the profile of my principal secretaries, you have people in their 30s, many of them serving sub in substantive positions. In fact, many people were asking me um, whether these girls, you know, some of them look like they are, uh, or these boys, whether they can be principal secretaries. And I'm very proud of them. They are doing a wonderful job. But that is something I will consider, Saruni, that uh, as way of keeping a promise, I think that is something I need to consider. And thank you very much for your feedback. Let me also say on the matter of uh, um, the, the law that is... Uh, bringing problems to 6,000 diploma uh, law students who, uh, because of a law in 2014. I will take it up with the AG. Ordinarily, you know, professional organizations like, uh, like the legal fraternity are normally regulated by professional bodies like the LSK and all the others. If we get a recommendation from the LSK to the Attorney General, I will be able to facilitate and make sure that we don't is uh, and franchise 6,000 people in Kenya who have undergone training and who need to practice law in the way they want to do. I agree with you that uh, there has been a problem of with the Kenya Youth Council. We need to deal with it. And I have told uh, Ababu Namwamba, my minister for uh, young people, to look at whether we have the right forum you know, the problem with the uh, youth council, it has always looked like it is a government agent. We want to make sure that it doesn't look like a government corporation or a government agency. We want it to be a young people's organization in a way that government influence and government um, uh, intervention is limited so that the young people can speak for themselves. I would welcome ideas, uh, Saruni, from university leadership on how we can make the youth council better, more democratic, and more representative of, uh, of the young people. I couldn't agree with you more on this branding issue. I see faces of people all over the place on government projects that have been done. Uh, this, uh, and, and, I, and, I, and I think it is meant to look like they did it with their own money. I agree with you that this branding, if it costs public money, it should stop. And it is feedback that I am going to take in to see to it that no public money is used to paint people's uh, uh, photo on government projects. Um, let me answer ex-counselor. I'm told he's ex-counselor, but he's also a doctor. This is good. I didn't know that uh, an ex, uh, an ex -counselor, a doctor can be an ex-counselor, but that is good. He has asked me about um the nhif and the transition to shift let me tell my brother uh, i didn't get his name that the reason why we are shifting from nhif to shift is because nhif is limited nhif only uh, captures a small section of our society it is my intention 
as I made a commitment to the public that every Kenyan must have two things, must have access to healthcare and must have access to health insurance. We must make sure that those people, even those who cannot afford NHIF, because there are many people who cannot, who cannot afford the 500 we are paying at the moment. And that is why we have brought in a means testing system so that the people who cannot afford the, the 500, we have now reduced it to 300 under the new program. And even those who cannot afford 300, the government of Kenya is going to pay for them so that no Kenyan will go to hospital, whether they are suffering from hypertension or cancer or diabetes or whatever. Either they get uh, treatment because uh, level one, two, and uh, three are free, or they can go to a referral hospital and there is an insurance system. Blue shift, that is that's a social insurance that is going to make sure that uh, uh, their bills are paid. So, and let me tell you, one very important addition to this program is the digital health platform. The biggest problem we have had in NHIF is the digitization process. We lose a lot of money because of collusion between hospitals and staff at NHIF. In fact, you saw in the public media that there are hospitals that have more accountants than medical officers because they are gaming the, 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 the system. We have now standardized all tariffs. There is no way you can be treated by malaria in one hospital and you pay a thousand and treated for malaria in another hospital and pay 100. We have standardized, whether it is public, whether it is private hospital, we have now standardized treatment. That is what happens world over in countries that, uh, that, that, that understand how to manage uh, mother's, mother's health. So this is a comprehensive program. It is one program that will change the face of Kenya. Kenyans will no longer have to sell their land, sell their property to go and pay for hospital bills. We will all of us stop these harambes and the public collections that we are collecting to go and deal with people. So my good friend, this is the plan. We have gone through it with parliament. We have enacted four pieces of legislation. It was my plan to launch it on the first of this month. Unfortunately, because of the challenges we've gone through with the finance bill, we have shifted it to begin 1st of October, but the process of registration has already started. I think we are on day, uh, on day four, and already over 100,000 Kenyans have been registered. So, and I want to encourage all Kenyans to register so that we can be able to plan for our health together as the people of Kenya. And we can even plan for our health commodities, and we can be able to uh, secure everybody from matters illness. Thank you very much. Um, not finish my questions. So as I continue, uh, I know, uh, but my main point is corruption, whether it's an HF or chief, I told you uh, 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 300 million paid to fake claims, around 9, 9 million today, early in the morning. This, will this stop in the new system? Is that since you came into power now two years ago, the only thing you keep mentioning is the price of Unga going down and the housing project, which we do know very well, will not be occupied with the common monetia uh, uh, like me. So do you have another project that you can always tell us? The things you promise a lot of things from police killings, yeah that things are happening. Which one are you going to address other than the two of press of Unga and uh, housing? Now, in the in the police thing, there's somebody, as Osama has told you, you have not addressed, Osama was asking, there's a police that killed somebody, is believed to have killed the first uh, Rex, the first death of the protests, still roaming. Yesterday, the other day was seen in a video shooting directly to a crowd. I didn't see the end of the bullets. I cannot tell the crowd to a wall. What is happening to this? When are these people getting arrested? Why is the, what is the CI doing about them? Why is it that the, the, the nobodies are getting arrested, arraigned in court in, no, in very few days? 
but then the big the big boys are just sitting somewhere eating the my our, our taxes what are you doing about them what the, what is your direction to address this issue thank you so and also if you notice that if you notice something in the pattern there are the last mandamano the the recent one that was full of goons how come the first four first four there were no this violence but then there is the last one with coffin in town and police entertaining police entertaining these people dropping uh, the coffin from the lorry as well as seen parking them back in the lorry in the evening it's clear that somebody was behind this and the police could not touch the very people that were doing this but when it was another person with a phone and a bottle of water they get shot they get tear gassed what is happening what are you why do you speak a and do c what instruction are you giving to the police yesterday i saw that you are praising the police for having done a good job professionally well people died what what are we pressing here what can we are we looking at so can we just match the word with the action we've been talking too much we see you on tv every day we, we now we're on space when when are we getting to see action let me give space for other people thank you also the mr president have you tried to reach the families of those who were shot dead by the police or injured by the police even a single one have you tried to reach even even the amount of those? Thank you very much. Uh, let me just uh, speak to two of the things that you have. Yes, I have tried to reach out uh, to Kennedy Onyango's mother, Jessica Onyango. And in fact, I am scheduled to uh, uh, engage with them. I have already sent a message and uh, they were not available, uh, but they know that I have been uh, looking for them and uh, they, they, I will be spoke, speaking to them shortly. On the matter of this rogue police officer that you say is roaming, that is something that I would get. I would want to get exact details of who this is, and I can tell you that we will apprehend him and deal with him in accordance with the law. But let me answer also we'll what, what my friend. We'll send video and pictures. Pardon. Pardon. If you're having a difficult locating the, the the police, we have videos and pictures of them. Okay. So that please, should be easy. Please forward uh, the picture and uh, and 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 uh, photos to me to Hussein, my uh, spokesman here, and also I would appreciate if you can send send it to also my inbox if you if you can, or if you can send it to uh, the uh, Independent Police Oversight Authority, we will, we will deal with it. But let me also respond to you about matters corruption. I want to promise you that part of the pushback we had on implementing our universal health coverage is because of corruption. Very many corrupt people who are gaming NHIF were against what we were doing. That is why they went to every court available trying to sabotage this program because they know that they will be out of business once we roll out this program because there will be, there will be no room for them to hide. It is also the reason why, my good friend, I am digitizing government services because I want to reduce the interaction between Kenyans and officers who sometimes ask for, for bribes left, right, and center. I want Kenyans to access public service from the comfort of their offices or their phones or their homes. But let me speak to uh, the subject of uh, corruption in that matter. Number one, we will operate a digital system through and through, whether it is with KEMSA, we are digitizing KEMSA, we are digitizing commodity uh, uh, distribution, we are digitizing um, matters to do with the, the, the whole, all health hospitals. In fact, the program that is going on now, we have grouped hospitals into PCNs, where we are grouping a number of hospitals into one PCN in every sub-county so that we can identify where these uh, where, where these hospitals are, and we are working uh, with the counties. I know you have said that the only thing I talk about is hunger and housing. Let me also tell you, uh, the whole housing plan is not just about houses, my brother. It is about real people, real jobs. Jobs in our industries that manufacture cement, Jobs in our industries that manufacture uh, steel, jobs in our industries that manufacture clinker, jobs uh, engineers, 
architects, accountants, HR managers, and many people who are working in that ecosystem. And beyond that, let me also tell you, my manifesto is a five-year manifesto. What you are do, you, you, uh, what I am doing now is a cut. There will be an exam in five years. And, and I will tell you, when I do the exam in five years, you will, you, you will see the results. Number two, beyond what I am doing on, uh, on, 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 on the space of jobs around housing, we are all, I am actively doing a big program on digital jobs. I was in Ruiru the other day, launching with CCI, a digital hub that is, going to, that is hiring, as I talked to you today, 5,000 Kenyans in Ruiru. I challenge you, you can go to Ruiru tomorrow, to CCI, you will find them working. And they are not the only ones. We have 140,000 Kenyans today who are working in different parts of Kenya, in TVETs, in ICT hubs, who are not working before I came to office. Today they are working because I have a very clear plan on digital jobs. When I talked in my manifesto about digital superhighway, it was not a, a, a write-up. It was not an essay. It was something that I intended to implement. As I talked to you, we are rolling out fiber optic using our power lines across Kenya. And in this year's budget, I had set uh, money to work with the, with, the, with the constituencies, with members of parliament, to make sure that there is an ICT hub in every ward in Kenya, where young people in ordinary places in every ward can have access to the internet, to, the, to, to computers, and to make sure that uh, these young people are trained and they can have access to a digital platform where they can work. As I talk to you, listen to me carefully, 149 to be exact, thousand young people who you can contact today are monetizing their talent on the digital platform, working under the program that I have set up. So it is not just housing. It is not uh, digital jobs only. Let me also tell you, Today, because of the program that I have rolled out on matters to do with export of our labor, as I talked to you last year, 120,000 Kenyans went to work abroad in different countries. I've heard a good sister there say, what is the president doing in Germany? What was the president doing in uh, in in in, in uh, in America, I want to explain to her uh, simply, what was the president doing in France? We are signing 19 new bilateral labor agreements that will give an opportunity for Kenyans who want to work abroad, an opportunity to export their talent. I'm talking about engineers, I'm talking about accountants, I'm talking about HR managers. I'm talking about workers in different fields who want to go abroad. And I have now begun the process of professionalizing over the last two years that whole ecosystem of uh, labor and, and the export of, uh, of labor out of Kenya. That is why we are seeing an increment, not just in jobs, domestic workers, I don't know, uh, drivers, I don't know what, we are, but the reason why we are negotiating new bilateral agreements is that we want to go beyond those workers at that level. We want to export skilled labor, we want to export professionals, and we are creating the ecosystem for that to happen. In fact, if I tell you now, if you go to www.neaims.go.ke, you will see that there are 400,000 jobs on that platform. Different kinds of jobs from different countries. We are now trying to make sure that those jobs will not be 400,000, 
they will be a million and they will in, they will be largely as we conclude these bilateral agreements bilateral labor agreements they will include many professional jobs many skilled jobs and i want to challenge uh, the the young people listening to me on this uh, on this x forum that that is an opportunity you can go to e citizens today and check whether what i am telling you is true or not whether those jobs exist or they don't and i want to challenge everybody to go to that space because that is one of our strategies in fact i saw on uh, a friday when there was a demonstration one gentleman from my village was interviewed and he said you know the president has not as as has failed us because uh, there are no many jobs in kenya uh, the problem is that we are uh, so many people are still going abroad to look for jobs little did that guy know from my village that i am the one who facilitated those who have gone abroad it is part of my strategy to create opportunities let me finish by saying in this year's budget the whole trajectory was about manufacturing you know how do you need local jobs my friend you you you, you the, the days when we just used to say oh we are going to grow the economy and the economy is going to create jobs that is gone we have to be deliberate housing i know how many jobs i'm going to create in housing digital jobs i know how many jobs i'm going to create export of labor i know how many jobs i'm going to create now what i had done in this year's budget is to put um a mechanism where we promote our own manufacturing local manufacturing using local materials hiring local uh, uh, labor and local professionals and creating local wealth there is absolutely no re- how there is no absolutely no way we are going to grow jobs in kenya by co- making kenya a supermarket for other countries by making kenya an importer of everything can't hear you my brother is done come on okay another uh, one last question one last question before i give somebody the mic i have uh, i have i'm seeing several question coming flowing to me it's also mine uh, there's a i may to understand there's a bill on your table about the ibc ibc reconstruction i'm wondering how long should this be or rather question would be was it a deliberate not to assign the bill so that when your people the people that are guiding you people that cannot listen to us when you want to try to send them home we cannot because there's no ibc commission that's in place so what is about ibc because uh personally i come from nyanza so and my home mp is atandi but if i was coming from nairobi or somewhere and surrounding the mp that really, really need to go home and the law that there's no ibc to be able to do this because parliament, they have been around that parliament just that uh, passed the bill it has found its way to my office and i want to tell you i will be expeditious it will not go beyond tuesday and the bill will be signed and uh, gazetted so that we can proceed with the process i am just keeping it within the law thank you thank you Okay um thank you Mr President I think we can get another I, I'm having issues with my phone I don't know why I mean funny like you so let's get Hi guys uh, can you can you hear me Osama can you hear me Yes yes we can hear you Mila So uh, mine is not guys have said all the things that guys would have to say uh, mine is uh, Mr President probably I think I should address you as Baba Sharim probably you will get where I'm coming from mm-hmm. And can I have your name if you don't mind do you do you mind saying your name but you if you don't want it's okay My name is Mila Mila okay Mila So uh on the day on the eve of the guys were protesting to the parliament I'm a photographer and that's what I do and the guy who was shot he was shot right in front of me and it's something that has been living with me in my head since that day 
and it really pisses me off. Like I'm really pissed off. Like the the day you you address the nation on that Tuesday, no one was remorseful. Like like there was no like it's like I don't know. It's just like life life doesn't matter to you guys in the government. Okay, I'll give you that later. You came and apologized, but still. People in your government walk to TV stations. It's like life don't matter. And that thing, it, it has been disturbing me. Because I saw the boy being killed. Even if you go back, you can go check Larry Maduro videos. He traced how the boy was. He was carrying nothing. Like literally, he was carrying nothing. I know you've spoken about this over and over. But my question is, and it's not even a question. Mine is probably just go back and reflect. You are a father. You are a grand dad. How would someone feel when the child is dead? I bet from where I, from where I stand, none of your government officials have even visited the families or reached out to the families from where I stand. Probably you guys just go back and reflect. Do we really matter as people who elected you? Like, how? where do we stand? Where do we stand as as, as young youths? Like, the guy called Rex, he was a, he was a guy... Be, Basically, was a guy who was born in 2002. Now he's dead. How does the mother feel? And some of of your officials walk in TV stations, go on social media, and they're like, "Wanna jipi ya kifua? Mwana jipi?" And that someone, someone was fucking, someone died. It's painful, Mr. President. It's re- and the, I'm talking this because I saw the boy dead. I even have the videos when the boy was shot. All I'm asking is, let's have empathy. Someone just reaching out. Huh? And and to the families, that's all I'm saying. Guys, go back and reflect and just have empathy. And then this thing of guys could be the kifua. It it doesn't make sense. Someone like Nyamu, like why is she even there? That's all I have to say. Ya speak. So, kitu ya kwanza. Na mi sijui kizungu stop. Simu Nasikia. Hello. Sorry, sorry we lost you, my friend. Uh, Tuli kupoteza hapo kidogo watu kusikia. Sorry. You can I speak? Sorry, good people. I don't know whether, whether we are we still online. I don't know whether are we there. Yes, we are online. Yes, I can, can hear you. Can we go on? I'm sorry, I can't hear. I can't yes. hear anything. I don't know whether. Are we on? Yes. Yes, we are on. I think there's, no, there's nobody asking questions. Perhaps I ask as we get out on the board. Maybe I'm talking too much or asking too much. Forgive me for that, but nobody's speaking. Another question is not another question. I've seen. Uh, I've seen people saying or asking you rather to don't reshuffle uh, the cabinets or the CS moving from the one ministry to the other. You've seen that one before. What you're seeing is just transferring competence in one field to another department or another ministry. Please get new faces. You have a lot of people around you. 
you have a brains behind you. When I was growing up, when I was young, in the time of Kibaki, I used I used to associate being a minister with some some smart people, and you are one of those one of those people to, uh, in, in your sport back then. Suddenly, this day you have people the best they can deliver is just abuses and too much, too mouthy. Can you just bring us new people that are going to work? As le as recent as yesterday or two ago, came out to tell us that. Uh, the money we've been contributing for the injured and the those we lost in the, in this struggle <coughs> was waived by Kenya National Hospital and other public hospitals. She came late. The person that was in charge has been doing an excellent job. Hanifa keeps everything better than the government. Every tell of spent <laughs> telling us ABC has done by her for the, uh, that give us transparency, not the other people that just keep saying it. Okay, let me, uh, Mila made a very uh, passionate and I think uh, correct uh, analysis of what happened, especially of uh, 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 Kennedy who, who died in, in Rongai. And I, and, I, and I believe that uh, he is right, you know, that that's really a very regrettable situation. And, and, and I apologize on behalf of every official who should have uh, done something about that situation. I have explained that the boy who died in Rongai was actually shot by one of the criminals who actually snatched the gun from the police. Uh, that criminal was, however, shot by the police because if the police did not shoot him, then he would have caused more deaths of more, of more Kenyans because these are reckless people Sometimes some of the uh, of the of the of, of those people don't, are not even in their in their correct uh, level of uh, senses, and and therefore uh, it it is regrettable. And uh, I agree with you. It is really unfortunate that you watch an incident that's going possibly to affect your life for a long time. Uh, sorry about that. And I know you have made reference to me as a father, which is true. I have four Gen Zs in my home, and. Uh, I, I promise you they they take me to task, you know, on, on some of these things. And I have to do a lot of explaining some of the time. And this is just the same way I'm explaining uh, to you guys here. I agree that some of our officials are, are arrogant. Some of them, you know, speak out of turn. And then some of them display, you know, obnoxious opulence, if I may say that. Uh, which which does not just anger the public. And sometimes I call in some of those people and I give them a piece of my mind because uh, even Nyamu, I have had occasion to sit her down, you know, and, and, and tell her, I mean, you, you, she needs to change what, what she's doing. And, and uh, you know, when you are uh, uh, in my position, you are also a father figure. You know, some of these... Uh, young people they they get excited about many things and, and sometimes they do they do the wrong, the wrong things and, and i want to tell you that um i know somebody here mentioned karen yamu karen yamu is a a, a a girl i have had I've, I've had to sit her down sometimes and and tell her look she needs to do things differently um uh so so i i, I agree with you that uh and, but I have also undertaken, you know, I, I have said, um, I know what is cutting. Uh, I know what's going on. And I have promised that uh, uh, I will be making changes. I know you have said that I should, uh, I should not make changes. I, I should clean the slate uh, clean. But uh, you see... <laughs> You don't have the job I have. And, and there are many things that I have to do to be able to get things done. And uh, uh, it, it not, it, 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 it's, quite a, it's quite something. But I, I have had you, and I have had the many Kenyans who have, who have talked on this uh, platform. And I'm very happy that uh, we are having this conversation on X. So, 
So let me, uh, I don't know, because um, I had promised that I would be here up to five. I think it is now five, uh, <laughs> five, fifteen. And uh, I have another assignment uh, with our Olympics team that are coming to you. We have a, I have a, a, a bunch of wonderful uh, Kenyans who are going uh, to represent us in Paris. They are sitting somewhere outside my office. Uh, and um, with, with a lot of respect, I want to say to all the people who have asked me uh, the very important questions, very Mr. President, questions. I have a final remark before you go. I have a final remark before you go. Is Kiyoti speaking here? Okay. Okay, Mr. President, before you, you continue, I'm Marvin Mabonga. I come from Kimilili constituency in Bungoma County. So, Mr. President, before you go, I want, you, I want to let you know that in your cabinet, currently we are having so many incompetent cabinet secretaries. For instance, let me give you an example of your friend, Kipchumba Murkomen. Kipchumba Murkomen did law. He has never been in any law firm in this country. He has never won any case. But currently, he's heading the Ministry for Road and Transport. My question is, between, like, where, where is the, 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 the conjunction between the Ministry of Transport and a lawyer? In that department, you should be putting there a person who has done even civil engineering, who knows so much about construction. Lastly, uh, the, 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 the Minister for, for Agriculture, that person, he even doesn't have a bachelor's. We all know this information. We have the, 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 the government's website and we Google, we see this information. So, Mr. President, if you are going to give us those people who are incompetent, then we are totally doomed. You know, when we elected you as the president, normally they say, you sent a thief to catch a thief. But this time round, when we elected you, Mr. President, that you can help us now catch those people who are corrupt in this nation, you're just there laughing with them. Look at, look at uh, Oscar Sudi. He's flouting with 20 million in a bag in a public uh, forum. I'm even told that there is one of the uh, cabinet minister who was caught in Dubai with 20 million cash and you, 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 you actually came through him so he wasn't uh, taken to a court somewhere or, or arrested. You know that, Mr. President. Personally, where I sit, I want to pay my rent by 10. But because I finished campus, I don't have any job anywhere. I'm just here in the city seated. I will, be, I will not be able to pay that rent because you promised her to give us the jobs. But when we elected you, you are now telling us that in the next one year, we are not going to, to employ the youth. Mr. President, do you think that one is not a lie? Lastly, the other day you said, uh, when you were questioned about the boy who was shot, you, you, you didn't know whether he was alive or dead. But now you know that the person who shot that boy is not the police officer. Mr. President, do you think that is a reality? That one is not a reality. I'm very angry because I'm very angered person because every time we get to those public offices, we are treated like trash. And that's why the other day I was even on the forefront. You can watch the videos. I was on the forefront in, in those protests to demand for my right. And now here, Mr. President, you are just taking us through the corners, the corners. You are not even going straight to the point. Kindly go straight to the point when you are asked. Uh, about the person who is corrupt. He say this person is corrupt. He has been working with millions of money. Uh, tell us uh, Omanga uh, uh, bought, uh, bought 60 uh, with, with 50 million uh, a, a vehicle, which is flooding now on social media. Apart from that, tell us that this uh, fertilizer was fake. Even as much as it was dropped from 7,000 to 2,000, two it is full of soil. So, what, why, are we, why are we playing games with the public money, with the money that our, our mothers and fathers are going through sweat to get it, Mr. President? Wherever we are, we are not happy. 
And of course, if these things are going to happen this way, then come 2027, we are going to come out in large numbers, Mr. President. We'll take votes and we'll take those people home, including you. If at all you are not going to fight for our own rights as you are, your people uh, in this nation. Thank you so much. I'm very angered, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, my friend, uh, Martin. I, I understand your anger. And uh, you, you are perfectly in order to, to be angry because uh, the situation where you are in, out of university, without a job, is, is something that I have lived through myself. In fact, when I, when I, finished, uh, when I finished university, I, I did not get a job until I was elected as a member of parliament. But that's uh, not for another day. But let me tell Martin that next week, for example, as part of our uh, housing program, just hold on, as part of our housing program, we will be hiring 3,600 professionals like yourself. I want to challenge you, Martin. There will be an advertisement next week for engineers, architects, wanted to surveyors, and many in the construction field because we are looking for people who are going to work with our professional firms in our housing program. Let me also uh, tell you, Martin, that uh, uh, we need to separate the issues that are correct and the issues that are uh, uh, fake news. The issue of some minister being found in Dubai, I don't know, last week, with $200 million or something, is fake news. That is not true. On matters to do with uh, people you have mentioned were in different areas, um, today, uh, I am here as a scientist, right? And, and many other people are doing many things from fields they did not necessarily uh, train in. Because at a certain level, it, it is a management issue. It is a leadership issue. It is, it is an issue about leading an organization. So um, I have heard you on some of the incompetent people you have said, some of the corrupt people you have said, I have listened to you, but let me uh, say this to the public. Of the fertilizer, of the fertilizer that we supply to the Kenyan public, almost 6 million bags, 20,000 bags were the ones with a challenge. We isolated the 20 million, uh, the 20,000 bags. It is not even 1% of the fertilizer that we supplied to the Kenyan public, I do not want an impression to be created as though the fertilizer we supply to the people of Kenya in millions had any challenge. And when we detected a problem with the 20,000, we not only recalled the ones that had not been sold, but we made sure that- Hi, our name is on Google Map. <laughs> on, I, sorry, I made sure that any farmer who had used fertilizer that was not correct, was compensated. They were given an extra uh, bag of fertilizer for them so that they don't end up in, uh, in losses. I have had you, uh, Martin, as I've had all the good people here. But let me say this in, in, uh, in, in closing. This feedback oh, no. is very... <laughs> close, but... Yeah, Please, can, I, can I also have an opportunity to speak, Mr. President, before you finish? If you can be, if you, if you can be brief, if you can be brief, eh? so that uh, yeah, I am, I, I am brief. I am talking in Kiswahili. Do you hear me? Hold, hold, guys. Hold, hold, guys. Is, is anyone speaking or can I speak, uh, Osama? You can speak, you can speak. Okay, uh, first of all, good evening, uh, Mr. President and everyone good here. Good evening, my dear. Uh, 
<laughs> okay. So my name is Jeanette Brenda, and I, I don't have any questions because I, I feel like uh, the people have asked questions before Umuwa Pelek around and Okay, sorry. Sorry, Jeanette, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. You're on mute, uh, Jeanette. Maybe we'll get one more, then the president closes. There was one more person who really wanted to speak. Maybe for me, yeah, you go ahead, please. Yeah. Yeah, so good evening and thank you, Mr. President, for agreeing to come to address the nation here on space. So I have two questions I'm going to ask really quick because of time. Uh, the first question is that, um, Mr. President, uh, the rules of uh, carbon credit were being developed by the Ministry of Environment, but as youth...